FCA gateway system. You can't use the tool if you don't have the authorization, so I'm probably gonna have to sign up. Yeah, it looks like I'm kind of stuck. I'm not gonna be able to clear these out. I mean, I guess I can try it again, but it's not gonna do anything. Yeah, see, exactly. Hey everyone, how's it going? So today what I wanted to do is actually wanted to perform a scan on this vehicle using my uh, 7111. Now, um, I've already done the OBD2 diagnostics. So I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and move on to the uh, OEM. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. So here we are, OEM diagnostics. And all uh, right, let's see. Hold on a second, let me read this out for you guys. This vehicle has been equipped by the manufacturer with an SGW security gateway module that prevents access to most diagnostic functions. The SGW module must be unlocked by an authentication process to perform clear DTCs and OEM diagnostics that include actuator tests, special functions, ECU config, flashing or module resets. Make sure there is a good internet connection for the SGW unlocking process to complete. Would you like to continue? Nah, so let's hit cancel. All right, so hold on a second. It says another warning. So your vehicle is equipped with the FCA gateway system. Without unlocking the SGW, you will not be able to perform the OEM erase DTC's active test, special functions, or workshop tools. Are you sure you want to proceed with that without unlocking SGW? Continue without. So you unlock over here, or you go ahead and you continue without unlocking. I am going to go ahead and do what I want. I will not unlock it. So let's see what happens. All right, cool. So you could go ahead and you could do your vehicle inspection, scan all systems. So let's go ahead and uh, let's just take this one right here. For example, let's do the ABS. All right. So let's check this out. Let's see if they got any uh, DTCs over here. So it's doing a quick scan. Okay, cool. So from what I understand, it looks like 2018 plus vehicles. Um, they're equipped with this uh, gateway thing where you pretty much can't use a tool as long as you, as long as uh, you can't use the tool if you don't have the authorization. So I'm probably going to have to sign up for something. So I can do that right now and see what I can do right now. Um, yeah, it looks like I'm kind of stuck. I'm not going to be able to clear these out. I mean, I guess I can try it again, but it's not going to do anything. It looks like it's trying to get through. But when we go ahead and we scan again, it's probably going to end up coming up. And that makes a lot of sense. Um, I guess the, yeah, see exactly. So if you guys take a look over here, your race has failed. Um, you know what, let's give it another shot. All right, so it's erasing the DTC, or so it says. It looks like something's going on in the background. Yep, and there it is. So the tool recognized it's not gonna be able to do it. It's telling me, you know what, it's not gonna happen. So now we're left with only one option. Again, for the uh, 2018 plus uh, FCA vehicles, uh, you're pretty much, you're gonna have to go ahead and sign up. So let's go ahead and close this out. And that sucks. All right, let's see what all this jazz is all about. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do OEM diagnostics. Again, um, you know what? I think it's probably gonna do the same thing if I try to get in with workshop tools. And so let's continue. So when I was here, I actually noticed this and this is kind of a, this is the serial number on my tool. And I have a feeling it's probably gonna be important. So let's go ahead and hit. So like I said, new user. Let's give it a moment. All right, so let's call it a... So terms and conditions, all that good stuff. All right, I accept. So let's sign up. All right. So if you guys take a look over here, check this out. It says account validation has been sent to that uh, email. Okay, that's great. So what you guys gotta do is you guys gotta do this number. If you guys get on your computer, you guys will see this in your inbox. And then all you gotta do is you click verify. Cool, that's it. And then it's already confirmed. That's it, so you're good to go. So, like I said, back on the tool. All right. So now I just log in. 
So it's currently logging in. Cool, that's it. All right, so let's go ahead and check this out together. Um, so it looks like, okay, it looks like you got a couple different options here. So if you're a service center owner manager or you're an independent technician with your own auto uh, certified diagnostic tool, click on the link to register or your service center. Or if you're a technician employed and is already, and you got a tool, uh, you got to ask your service center owner manager for your user account to be loaded up. Okay, okay. <clears throat> so pretty much, so like for me, I don't work for a shop. I just do this. Uh, I'm my own boss. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to need this. But if I was working for a shop or for a company, I'd be going this way. Obviously, this is going to be me right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I see. So you got plus, you got the pro, you got the standard. Yeah, it just kind of depends. Like if you're a small, if you're a small independent shop, maybe this guy over here, if you're a bigger shop, the dealership, whatever, maybe this guy over here would make sense. Or like if you're an institution or a school or yeah, I'd probably go that way. And they don't even bother telling you how much. So again, for my use right now, I'm going to be going with the standard package. Okay. So I got to fill out some billing information. So go ahead and uh, give me a second here. So now all I got to do is sign up. That's it. I'm done. So I am currently set up. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and manage tools because I'm pretty sure this thing is not on there. So I got up to five tools I could go ahead and do, that's fine. So let's do that. Huh. All right. So we're gonna scroll down, we're gonna look for my tool. Uh, or maybe scroll up. All right, so tool selected, all models, that's fine. Now, <laughs> okay, I'm so glad I did that. So if you guys remember, I went ahead and I did that whole copy thing. So when I was here, I actually noticed this, and this is kind of a, this is the serial number on my tool. Let's see if I could copy. Yes. All right. So what I did is I, from that previous step in the beginning, I'm sure you guys are going to see it. I went ahead and I copied that because I didn't feel like writing that down and I'm glad I did. Boom. There we go. So now I'm just going to add tool. Please tell me this is going to work. <gasps> Success. All right. Cool. 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 Tools added. Ready to go. All right, guys. So like I showed before, we're already signed up, we're ready to go. So next step, let's go ahead and do OEM diagnostics. All right. So it's given us the same prompt that it had given us before. No problem. Uh, we're going to skip over all that stuff because I'm already there. And let's hit continue. Let me go ahead and move this up. There you go. A little bit better. Cool, perfect. Everything was everything was successful. All right, great. And so what we're gonna do is, uh, like I mentioned before, I wanted to go ahead and clear up the uh, ABS codes that I was not able to delete before. So let's check that out. Uh, if I remember correctly, there was three of them. So let's read the DTCs. All right, so here we are, they're right there. So next step, let's go ahead and clear up those DTCs. I wanna see if they come back. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear this out. Now I'm gonna move the camera so you guys can see what's going on. You guys take a look at the cluster. There's some stuff going on. 
And that was it. So we cleared them up. Let's go ahead and close that up. Let's go back home. And that's it. That's all there was to it. Quick, easy, straight to the point. Couldn't be any easier. Um, anyhow, thanks a lot for watching, guys. And hopefully that just uh, kind of showed you guys how quick and easy that was. Anyhow, once again, thanks a lot for watching.